Hi everyone. In this video, we'll be creating a music app using Next.js and Shazam API. First, we'll start by creating a new app using the Next.js framework. Open the Next.js manual installation documentation. Run the installation in the terminal. After that add necessary scripts to package JSON. Create a folder pages slash appy. Then go to the Shazam com site and try to find something. In the network tab you can see that when you search Shazam sends Ajax requests to its API. In the response we get data about the artists and tracks that match the search query. In the pages, appy folder let's create a search.js file. It will export a function with two arguments. Copy the URL from the site where we will send the request. Add the data from Shazam to the response and check that the method works. That's fine. We don't need all the data returned by Shazam, we just need the track list. Add parameter, Q, from the request to the requested URL, remove artist search and set the limit to 7. Let's try to search for tracks with the request. Alright, let's create an API method that will return detailed information. Let's copy the URL of the Shazam. Add the key request parameter to it. Make a fetch request and return the data with the details in the response. Now we need to do one more method. Let's call it download. In the same way we export asynchronous function. Fetch request and get the video data. We find an action named video, YouTube. We return a link to the YouTube video from this action, action pointer e. Check it out, it works. Next, we need to install the library YouTube DL exec. Installed. Let's take from the documentation an example of how to use. We don't need the download JSON only parameter. Since our method is asynchronous, let's add the await key. We have to specify where we are going to save the files. Most probably there will be a lot of files, so let's use the UUID of the file name. Let's install an appropriate package. Import UUID4. Let's create a variable UUID and. And in the path of the file we will put UUID.mp3. The path to the file must be passed to the output option in YouTube DL. Also specify that we are going to extract the audio and the audio form will be mp3. If output we return it in the response. Let's try to first of all return the JSON. Forgot to change the URL, it should be our actionary. Check it out and it's okay. Now let's try to extract audio. Since my path to FFMPEG is not specified in the path it is necessary to specify it explicitly in the option FFMPEG location. Path to FFMPEG not found? Let's try to escape slashes and specify X file. That's good. The file is created in place. Now we have to return the file in the response of our download method. To do this, import the file system module as FS. Let's write the information about our file into the stat variable. Create a read stream object that will be returned in the response. Specify the response headers. Content type audio, mpeg. Content length stat point length. Attach a read stream to our response. Check. In response a file is returned, that can be downloaded and listened to. Add deletion of files on the server. Everything works fine. Now create the pages of our application. Create an app, page.js file. For now we will show only the hello header. Next.js will automatically create a layout.js file. There we will add a download free mp3 title. Now create a component for the search form. It should have an instance of the text type with a prompt to search for music. Import that component into the layout.js and put it under title h1. We need to fix the import. Now it's okay. Go back to the search component. Here we need to add the key phrase use client and import the use state and use effect functions. Let's add the query state. 
and a function search that will set the query event target value. This function will be executed at input on change. Add a use effect to change the query state. If there is a query value, we will send a request to the API search. Print out the results in the console. Check. OK. Let's add another state result. We will write the data we get from the API into it. Let's add set timeout for half a second to update the query value so that we can send queries only when the user has interrupted his input. Let's display the search results under the input field. Results.map. Get the track for each object in the array and display it in the console. Error at map function call. It is necessary to set the default value for results, the empty array. Now the track data is printed to the console. Each track will be a reference. For each track in the results create a link with the attribute key equal to track key. Let's leave the href attribute as empty for now. In the body of the link let's display an image. src equals track images cover art. alt equals track title. width equals 60. height equals 60. Track title h3 with the track title. And track subtitle. Let's look at. We need to wrap the search results in a div. Great. Now create a page JS file in the key folder. This will be a page with detailed information about the track and the ability to download it. Print incoming key parameter on it. Add track state to this page. Import the use state and use effect functions. Add use client. When mounting the page we will receive data from API track with the key parameter. Record obtained data in the track state. Let's write all the info we get on the page and check if everything is working. Let's see where the URL with the track image is stored. If the track is defined and the track point object is defined, output img with attribute src equal to track images cover art. Header h2 with track title. And a paragraph with track subtitle. Let's see. Now we need to add one more state. Let's call it video URL. If the track state is defined, we find a section in the track data with a link to the video information. Pass the YouTube URL from this section to the state video URL. If video URL is defined, we will display the button to download the MP3 file on the page. When you click on this button, we will call the download function. Let's create it. It will work asynchronously. Let's write a fetch request to API download and video URL in the video parameter. We should get a binary file in answer, so we make an await response point blob. To download this file, we need to create a URL to this file. Window URL create object URL. And also a temporary link to that URL. 
we add an href and download attribute to this link. In download we should specify the name of the file. Then we add this link to the document body. Emulate a click on this link and delete it. Let's see what happened. Good, the file is downloaded. If you click on the button several times the download will also start several times. To avoid this it is necessary to add the default state active btn true. For the button let's add disabled attribute, which will be equal to not active btn. At the beginning of the download function we will set set active btn false. And when the blob is already received, back set true. Now we need to add styles to our application. Open the Tailwind CSS documentation. Next JS installation guide. Copy the install command and run. Initiate Tailwind CSS. Add necessary content in Tailwind config JS. Create global CSS file and import it into layout JS. Make sure the styles are incorporated. Add body classes flex call items center bg slate 50 to the layout js. Let's class text 3 xlsm, text 5 xl font semi bold mount 14 sm, mount 20 mb7 for the title h1. Wrap the search form in a div with classes relative W72SM, W96MB5SM, MB10. Let's add a form input PX4PY2 rounded full border 2 border indigo 500W full. Let's wrap the search results in a block with the absolute class. Let's look at. Okay, let's add BG white. Let's add flex class P2 border B to the links in the search results. We'll give the image in the link Mr. 3 rounded. Title and subtitle wrap in your tag. H3 add class font medium. For all search results add W full top full LEFT0 rounded overflow hidden and shadow 2XL. Yeah title and subtitle should be wrapped in a div. Great. Now we need to add styles to the track page. Rounded LG class for the image. Header, font medium text 2xl mount 3mb2 text center. For the subheading we will add the class text xl. For the button we will add classes inline block my3 rounded full bg indigo 600px 10py3 text xl font semi bold letting 5 text white hover. bg indigo 500 disabled. bg indigo 300. The disabled should be corrected. Check out. Perfect. 